Hello guys, Sean Foggett here. Welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be discussing should Rafa Benitez be sacked by Everton? And if yes, who should replace him over at Goodison Park? Because Everton, they in recent years they've gone downhill because either they've, when they've had to get a new manager in, they've made the wrong appointment or when they've overspent they've overspent on players that don't that have not much quality and they've got a new stadium called Brandy Moore Dock that looks incredible but could they have like cuz even though Tottenham have an incredible stadium since they've moved into it it's just that They've had an incredible stadium. They haven't had any success there. Um, the two replacements that I think about that are the most likely if he does get sacked are Graham Potter. But I think that'll be most, like, most likely to be like a summer move if um, he does go to Everton. Because I don't see him leaving Brighton mid-season because he's doing really, really well at Brighton. And I don't see why he would want to go to Everton in the state that they are in and and, and then have all that pressure on him after which he, he wouldn't have a, a... If he did... If it did go down here... If it did go downhill here for Brighton after all the great stuff he's done for them already this season. And the second one is Frank Lampard because he got Chelsea Champions League football without having money to sign players because the, the the year that he went there, they had a transfer ban. And he also, when he managed Derby, he, he, he got them some great memories, like beating United at Old Trafford in, in the Carabao Cup. And he, he... It only went downhill for him in his Chelsea second season because... Like mid season, they just like went on some dire form, and they were playing dire football, and like sides were going to Stamford Bridge or playing against Chelsea with no fear. And he's also been linked with getting back into management with jobs before that he hasn't took in, which was the Norwich job after Daniel Fark sacking and after Steve Bruce sacking at Newcastle, but he didn't take them, and Dean Smith took it before him, and Eddie Howe took it before him. Because I think he could end up at Newcastle in the future, but I think he has to wait like two years or so. Because I don't think Eddie Howe will be there longer than that. Because I think it, in the long term, Eddie Howe isn't the greatest man for the Newcastle job either. I think what they should have done when they were in a relegation state, they should have either kept Steve Bruce or, get, or got Sam Allardyce in. And then in the summer, they should have... They should have just... They should have just brought... Um, Allardyce in as a interim and then ha for like a six month deal and then get Lampard the job for like the permanent job for the for the next season. I I the, the, there's two appointments that Everton need to avoid and that's well three really well, well there's not well the other one's not really an appointment is keeping Benitez. Benitez, it's not that he's a very, very bad manager. He's a good manager. He did excellent things for Newcastle. But it's just a thing, him and Everton, from what I've seen as of so far, in this couple of months in charge of Everton, that he hasn't, it hasn't been the right fit. And since he used to manage Liverpool as well, I, I don't think that means that he's going to do a good job at Everton. I think that means he's not going to do a good job at Everton because... The board won't really... I don't think they really wanted him. It's just that he was the only option that wanted to come. It was a bit like the Nuno situation at Spurs. Because he didn't really want to go. But because there was no other role jobs out there for him and he wanted to go back into management, he just took that job anyway. And Benitez was the right fit for Newcastle. He shouldn't have been sacked by Newcastle. He was harshly sacked. And I think... He he's a he's a good manager, but I don't think he suits Everton. He suits like a side like maybe like a Newcastle or a 
maybe like a side outside Europe, like an Inter Milan or like um, like in, a job in China. I don't think he suits anything like a Everton manager. The two, the t- the two managers that they must not appoint is Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Nuno Espirito Santos because. Nuno Espirito Santos, he's not a bad manager, but the football that he plays is absolute dire. It's not exciting at all. You could fall asleep and it's like rock the baby to sleep. So so say if I was just sat here, yeah, and I was watching a game that Nuno Espirito Santos was managing, I, I'd, I'd be snoring in, in, in seconds and going like... <sighs> and, um, and for an Everton, like... Well, I'm not an Everton fan, but for, like, for a football fan's perspective, it would put me off from watching Everton because... I would like to see them get like a Lampard or a Potter because then it'll be more exciting football to watch and they might actually start going places again. Because they haven't won trophy, a trophy in like years and, they, and they've got an opportunity of like winning like something like an FA Cup or, or a Carabao Cup. Well, they can't win the Carabao Cup this season because they're out, but they could try and make a... FA Cup run or, or even win the FA Cup because I remember a couple of years ago I think they did they get to the quarters or the semi final where like they lost two one to United and then Anthony Martial scored the winner because one year that was like when they had like the players like Schneiderlin and like Lukaku was still there but even with Lukaku they were still like players they were still a li- still a little bit away from being like a Champions League team or or fighting for top six. Men, uh, there's a mentality issue at Everton. They don't have like a right one. They they've they always overspend in 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 the market and it ends up being something that doesn't make the fans excited and it, and it, and, it, and and it doesn't make other clubs suffer, it makes them suffer. If they lose to Arsenal on Monday night at Goodison Park, which is very, very likely because Arsenal are a lot better than the Arsenal of previous seasons, then I think Rafa's a gunner. And then do they get an interim manager or do they go, like, out of the blocks um, and get someone, like, permanently in, in, as a, in, in to replace Rafa Benitez? Thank you for watching this video. Like, share, subscribe. And I'll be doing my Premier League review show from these weekend's fixtures. And hope you enjoyed the video. And God bless you all. And enjoy your rest of your Sunday. And I'll speak to you guys later and soon. Goodbye.